top of the morning to you and welcome to the Kill James Bond podcast. I am Abigail O'Thorne. Joining me is uh, Alice O'Caldwell O'Kelly and O'Devon. Uh, we are... We are- <laughs> <laughs> I, I am broadcasting. I have a, a pig under one hand. Uh, I have a pipe bomb and some whiskey in the other. Uh, I'm, I'm very Catholic and I'm, I'm ready to talk about a film that very accurately depicts the Irish people as far as I know. Um, really, I'm wearing a huge green hat. Um, I'm kissing the Blarney Stone. Uh, I'm, I'm waving hello to the Loch Ness Monster. And... <laughs> to be sure. And that's right, to be sure. Theme song. And that does not make for the best okay. analysis, even if you knew something about terrorism, which you do not. Hello and welcome to the Cultural Insensitivity Hour. <laughs> <laughs> As we were so aptly introduced there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, she's not Irish of, again, yeah. Oh, for sure. She's not Irish. <laughs> <laughs> me, me when I talk to any of my Irish family. Uh, so... <laughs> It's another episode of Kill Jack Ryan, I guess, is what we're mm-hmm. doing now. Uh, yeah. We watched we watched Patriot Games, the one where they forced Alec Baldwin out of the role and put Harrison Ford in for probably a, a good choice, honestly, on Alec Baldwin's part. I'll be, I'll be yeah. completely honest with you. Yeah, he really dodged a bullet on this movie. I mean, if you're going to be replaced by somebody like uh, Harrison Ford, is yeah, fair enough. Like, I wouldn't be offended if you guys kicked me off the podcast and replaced me with Harrison Ford. Like, I'd be like, okay, fair enough. You know what? If yeah, you can get yeah. him, yeah. fair enough. Plus, you know, you get to do Streetcar on Broadway, so it's all good. Right. And also, you don't um, have to be in a film that's extremely racist against the Irish. That's yeah. right. And you know that this film is racist against the Irish because it begins with the sort of, like, clannered, sort of, like, um, uh, sort of mournful folk singing, a little bit of flute, a little bit of fiddle. Uh, and you're just like, oh, okay, oh, I, I see what we're doing here. My, right. my earnest belief is that they had like an expert on the IRA on board on this so that they could be like, is this something the IRA would do to him? And if he went, no, they would be like, perfect, printer. <laughs> Sean Bean strikes the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, four exclamation points when I mentioned that he'd... Ex- Sean O'Bean. This is not a well-known fact, but um, there are no actors from Ireland. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, they just true. don't yeah. occur there. There's actually, yeah. you know, people don't talk about this. The Irish are like, they, they don't really understand metaphor and pretend. They're like no. the fucking aliens from Galaxy Quest. Yeah, or, exactly. Or and, and like, there's there's not a lot of sort of, it's actually a big cultural taboo in Ireland to act in a film. So, uh, well, to you, be you, fair, you, Patrick, like, St. Patrick drove all of the actors out of Ireland. Like, there, there right. are no actors right. there because it was never connected to the mainland in the same way that uh, England mm-hmm. was. So, yeah. just so instead, migrate. you just have to you have to get English ones and have them sort of make do with their accent, which leads to Sean, uh, Sean Bean's first line, which I'm just going to fucking drop in its entirety because it's perfect. You mind your bottom, party boy. Move sure and fast. He, He's like this the whole movie. The IRA, or so we believe, attack Lord Holmes's car in front of Jack Ryan, and he like pushes his wife and kid to safety, and immediately enters the situation. He like grabs one guy, shoves him up against the car, takes his gun. He kills like three people. Yeah, mm. he- including Paddy. He kills yeah. Sean Bean's brother like in front of him. Yes, mm-hmm. and Sean Bean is like he sees Jack Ryan kill his brother in front of him, mm-hmm. and you know this sets off the sort of traditional inherent sort of biological Irish urge to blood feud, which this movie yeah. really, really just yes. like relishes. Mm-hmm. Very vengeful um, people. Yeah, absolutely. Because the thing about Ireland is that after the uh, after the Warring States period, there was a samurai caste that emerged that had sort of like um, a, a code of honor, right, which required that insults and sort of like uh, family hostility had to be avenged. Um, that's reasonable, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's what Sean Bean is doing. Obviously, being the IRA, legally, all planning has to be done in a pub. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Which I believe it's even where called, like, like... O'Bailey's or something like that. Yeah, it's O'Dwyer's. It's literally O'Dwyer's. called O'Dwyer's. God, it's even worse. Uh, 
<laughs> and there's like fiddle music in the distance. Everybody's fucking playing river dance. Oh, I'll uh, talk about the fucking musical stings in this movie. Do not yeah, worry. God, Irish do noises. Not fucking worry. <laughs> there's there are so many times when like an Irish character does something Irishly, and there's just like a little flute thing. It's like a gentle <laughs> woodwind refrain in the distance. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> awful. Again, American audiences are dumb as fuck. <laughs> While Jack is in the hospital, we get our all Irish of the same moment, um, where he yep. sees on the TV the I don't even know what this guy is actually supposed to be, but it's um Jerry Adams vaguely, right? Uh this, this is Paddy O'Neill, O'Neill again, right? Yeah. yeah. Who is played by Richard Harris. You you might recognize from uh, he's Marcus Aurelius in Gladiator, and he was the mm. original Dumbledore in in Harry Potter. Oh, uh, which is baffling to have him be again because Irish uh, actors don't <laughs> exist. Sinn Fein Dumbledore <laughs> is a very funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on, let me gin this up. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> no, it's gone. Just imagine, no, imagine gone. that at home. If you want to imagine Shinner Dumbledore at home, go, go. We're by practicing the disarmament, or as we call it, expelliarmus. <laughs> she's not Irish. She's English. Um, <laughs> she's English. That was uh, and- fucking good. Fuck you. It was, no, it was good. <laughs> I just tried don't coming have a up with up. a fucking Harry Potter Shin Fein bit off the term, right? That's that's exactly why I didn't say anything because I couldn't come up with it. I, so I, I respect up. yours. Absolutely, absolutely. Just um, say so you fell on the grenade of that bit for us. Truly, uh, truly. Thank you. And unfortunately, this will be the promo segment as well. Um, <laughs> and we're all going to be dressed very racistly to be Irish. But um, this is guy like pulling down a big fucking star spangled ballet club. <laughs> But, no, we can't do this. But um, <laughs> this guy attempts to apologize to Jack because he's like, look, we aren't involved in this. This is not an IRA thing. If the yeah. IRA does something, they tend to go, we did this uh, even mm. before or after. Um, but Jack is like, fuck you. Fuck the IRA. He's, fuck he's not Irish even people. like... He's not even like fuck you. He he is like so so angry. Yeah, he's All he so can do mad. is point his finger at him, yes. and he just says nothing, and he just leaves. Great bit of acting, like it is so good. good. Harrison Ford like fucking brings it in this film. Yeah, he's a good actor. So so Jack's working at the CIA, and mm. now he gets PTSD. Yeah. By going into a women's toilet, which he, relatable. Yes, the the, the, yeah. the bathroom intruder strikes again. He goes into a woman's bathroom by accident, and he sees a woman with red hair, and it triggers him. Yeah, we're <laughs> now Just putting at- up a sign outside the women's bathroom that says "No dogs, no trans women, no Irish." <laughs> 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 not good. Um, no, no. He he literally he, good. He, he sees a woman with red hair, and he has flashbacks to the second that he saw Annette in a fucking Tory Amos looking wig drive the car past him when that guy was going to assassinate him. Ryan Ryan then uh, thinks about Ryan this for a minute. Goes to a bar. Oh god, tell he, me about he, the bar. He thinks about this for a second. He puts he touches he touches his forehead on both sides and he's like, where'd Irish people go? And he goes to the most chain looking Irish pub in the fucking world. He goes to Seamus O'Doulahan's on Main Street, right? And the idea mm-hmm. that there would be any real Irish people in this pub is fucking laughable. He, he goes to the kind of pub that not the kind of pub that would have a bucket for Norade by the door or anything. He goes to the kind of pub that like it, it fully like bicycle hanging off the wall kind of chintz shit, and he he walks in like he's entering the heart of fucking darkness. He is frowning at everybody there. They're playing fucking. It's not even Irish rebel music. It's just folk music. And he's he's like sort of staring at everyone. And then he goes up to the table where Paddy O'Neill, the IRA guy, is. He is sitting with Paddy a Catholic O'Neil. priest, by the way. Just in case you want to so lay good. those cards so on the good. table. Woo! Like pig under the arm, like people drinking Guinness. It's like Yeah. There's like a um, leprechaun in the background. Like that's the level we're at. Unbelievable. Yes. It's so fucking funny. And and he's like, give up the dissident Republicans 
Uh, and O'Neill says, I, I will never give up my countrymen, no matter what they've done, even if they are trying to fuck me over personally. Which leads to fucking Karl Marx talking to his friends. I will fucking destroy you. At a time when you couldn't buy cheap knockoff tactical gear on Amazon, they show up with night vision goggles and Uzis. Yeah, like I'm saying, it's the full Sam Fisher shit. They're wearing like all black, they've got those big ass binocular night vision goggle looking ass things, and yeah. the way that the movie communicates, because you can't see any of their faces, that these are the Irish guys, it's the second they appear it's on the screen, Irish they pause, and there's a gentle woodwind refrain in the distance. <laughs> Genuinely, like, fuck this- off! <laughs> this movie like uses Irish music the same way other movies use like that discount uh, call to prayer. Yeah, <laughs> yes, like the fucking words in filling time. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, it really does. Yeah, every time it's an Irish person, like, woo. <laughs> yeah, you have to expect the fucking subtitle to come up like chattering in Gaelic. Irish, like, Irish yeah. shit. <laughs> Irish noises. So, so, so they. they the subtitle breach. is genuinely on Netflix. Irish music. <laughs> well, yeah. So, yes, so they is. they Irishly breach the house, but are outwitted and outfoxed by Ryan and Samuel L. Jackson. 